How's it going guys and welcome back to The Lair and today we're back in Historic Best of One. Uh, I call this one Great Company but before we get into it I just want to say if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Feel free to drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays, I read the comments daily. And if you have any friends or family that are into magic please share the channel with them. Uh, also don't forget once you have followed or subscribed just reach out to me in the chat or the comments and say something like hey I just followed or subscribed and I can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. So very excited to be able to offer that to you guys. Uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's hop into it. <clears throat> so... Uh, so this is going to be a green and black Golgari scheme. Um, this is definitely a stompy for sure. Um, so yeah, let's hop into this. Uh, we have the on the one drops a full playset of the Lana War Elves. Uh, is a 1-1 one, one, and that we could tap him and add one green mana. Two drops, we have the full play set of Brain Maggot. It's a 1-1 one, one, and when it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand and you choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card until Brain Maggot leaves the battlefield. On to the three drops, we have the full play set of Rotting Regisaur. He's a 7-6 and at the beginning of our upkeep, we discard a card. Running two copies of Demonic Embrace. Uh, is it target creature gets plus three plus one has flying and is a demon in addition to its other types and you may cast demonic embrace from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs we have one copy of ronus the indomitable he's a five five with death touch and indestructible ronus the indomitable can attack or block unless you control another creature with power four or greater running the full play set of garuk's harbinger he's a four three with hex proof from black and whenever Garuk's Harbinger deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, look at that many cards from the top of your library. You may reveal a creature card or a Garuk planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Running the full play set of Kazandu Mammoth or Kazandu Valley. You can either enter as a uh, land tap that produces green mana or becomes a 3-3 creature with landfall ability whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control. He gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Running the full play set of Steel Leaf Champion, he's a 5-4, and he can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. On to the four drops. We have the full play set of Collected Company. At instant speed, look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two creature cards with converted mana cost three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. One copy of Garuk Unleashed. He comes in at four loyalty. His plus one ability up to one target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until the end of turn. His minus two, create a three, three green beast creature token. Then if an opponent controls more creatures than you, put a loyalty counter on Garuk Unleashed. And then his minus seven, you get an emblem with at the beginning of your end step, you may search your library for a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. On to the top end, we have one copy of Garuk, Cursed Huntsman. He comes in at 5 loyalty. His 0 ability create 2, 2-2 two, two black and green wolf creature tokens with when this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garuk you control. His minus 3, destroy target creature and draw a card. And then his minus 6, you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus 3, plus 3, and have trample. And then finally, three copies of the Great Henge. It's a legendary artifact. The spell costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. We could tap it and add two green mana, and we gain two life. And whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and draw a card. Uh, so let's briefly talk about the mana base. We have six swamps, six forests, one blooming marsh, the full play set of Overgrown Tomb, three couples of three copies of Temple of Malady, and the full playset of Woodland Cemetery. And remember that the Kazandu can also come in as a land, so that's 28. Woodland of War Elves helps us ramp. Um, we should be able to find our colors easily. Brain Maggot's in there as a uh, defensive spell, if you will, to get rid of board wipes or um, stuff that we can't really handle at the moment. Um, it's also nice to uh, find him later on with a Garuk uh, in the late game and get that one card that they're holding back. Uh, or with the Great Henge to draw into him. Other than that, we're just beating the face with our three drops, all these big massive creatures, um, trying to get the Great Henge down as soon as possible so we can start drawing cards and stabilizing with our life gain. And then we have Collected Company, which is the other piece uh, to this list that synergizes so well with so many things that the, the deck can hit. Um, 
it's, it can just get nutty. Um, and then also being able to recover from a board wipe at instant speed on the opponent's turn if we're playing a control deck. Um, it's just brutal. Um, we have two of the Demi Demonic Embrace, uh, so we can attach it to our big boys to go in for the win if we absolutely need to, if we're stalled. Or, most of the time, we'll be putting it on one of our useless creatures um, or tokens uh, to swing in for additional damage. Uh, we have the one off of Ronus as an additional way to uh, get through with our big big guys, um, but also having a death touch, indestructible death touch 5-5 five five is nice too, well, that we can slap a demonic embrace on and can be pretty nasty. Um, Garuk's Harbinger helps us dig for creatures or our or two of, of our Garuk Planeswalkers, because Andu Mammoth can be either ramp or beater. Steely Champion is an amazing card, especially when we're facing aggro decks to be able to just consistently swing in for damage and not care. We already spoke about Collected Company. Grooks Unleashed, just as a one-off, um, has an additional way for one of our big boys to get through. We can create a body if we need to, or if we can get to the ultimate, um, can be pretty devastating. Uh, same thing with Grook Cursed Tunsman, helps us put put more creatures on the board or destroy creatures to draw a card but if we can get that emblem off it's usually game um, and then of course three great henge which holds everything together uh, and it pretty much does it all we're looking to try and hopefully get this off on turn four uh, on a perfect day uh, but being able to life uh, gain us life and ramp us each turn and then that additional card draw and the one one counters can just get out of control uh, so yeah that's pretty much the deck it's got a 3.4 converted monocost. We're running 25 creatures with 24 lands. Let's hop into some decks, or some decks, some games, and see how we do. Hop into some decks. Alright, so we got a three, two lander, Lana War, so we can do an early uh, rotting, uh, and then we have a collective company. Seems, seems good. Seems decent. This is something we're um, definitely not prepared for, but if we can overwhelm them <laughs> um, by just slamming a bunch of crazy creatures on the board, then we should be able to, we should be okay. Um, gotta get stuff out there, we gotta put a threat out there. And then if he's running counter spells, which I'm sure he is, we still have the collective company, which is nice. Um, I don't want to show him collected company yet, so we'll just throw that. Love the land, love the untapped land. Um, we're just. Oh shit. running counters in this deck. There's quite a bit of card draw. Words. Okay, so it's got a lot of card draw. Yeah, I still think we get rid of the land. Is that... No. Let's get rid of the Huntsman. Okay, now we can definitely swing in here. Okay. Good to hold up the collected company at the end of our opponent's turn, or once he makes a play. Sure. So 
so he's drawing a lot of cards. What kind of deck is this? So weird. That's right. Oh, I'll pick So unfortunately, we do lose the other collecting, but look at this. Beautiful! So now he has to worry about my whole board. And he's down to four. Sure. I think we got this. I don't see how he could bounce my entire board. Sure. Beautiful. Oh. Well, I guess we'll just give him trample. There's a bar over here. But, still coming in. Still coming in. Creatures are flying, so that's uh, good. Um, what can I say? Got him. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Express yourself to your opponent with emotes by clicking your avatar. I really like to be a an asshole on here, you know. If I'm playing an asshole, they start talking shit, I just mute them anyways. Alright, so we have a four lander here. I'm liking the Garooks, but seems a little slow, no? This is decent. The rotting collected. We have the Great Henge. We'll keep. Return one. I guess we'll return a rotting. That's the plan. Let's hope we're not up against uh, control. Mono red. Black. Control here. Goblin Instigator. Okay, this looks like a cavalcade deck. Put this over there tapped. Please, no cavalcade. Please, no cavalcade. Please, no cavalcade. Oh, there's just be goblins. Luxus. Yep, you got five there. Wow. It's hard to beat there. It's, it's hard to beat. You hit. Okay. Interesting. Oh, let's see. We need queen for the hinge, so let's drop the rotting. Maybe he's going for like maximum 
sure. I guess we can get rid of you. So let's play a land, let's play a hinge. Let's collect the company while we can. Please hit. That's pretty good. Get some card draw. So we'll be able to keep two of these. Um, doesn't have enough to ember it. Still going in. So we'll block you. And we'll block you. Okay. Let's discard the land. the right play. No, we need more blockers, so you do. Okay, so let's brain maggot. Got him. All right, let's keep it going. That was not the it was not the typical goblins deck, that's for sure. I thought he had us when he dropped when he dropped Muxus, but interesting. Still think it was a cavalcade deck. Especially with all them one drops running Goblin Instigator, maybe he just didn't have the card wild cards. Either way, I'll take it. <sighs> Mocha. So, two lander, brain maggot, technically a three lander. It's risky. Let's keep it. Lead off with the Kazandu, unfortunately. Okay, this definitely makes me want to bring Maggie here. Let's see if we get hit with the spell here. Let's take a peek. Treasure hunt. Oh. That sucks. That was a card he was looking for. Alright, well we have to beat him before he before he gets his his combo off. Let's see if we can do it. Shouldn't be too hard. You can kill him in three turns. Got him. That's a. 
That's an extremely jank deck. I... Brain Maggot for the win. I love it. Love it. Let's keep it going. playing these aggro decks because you get the games are usually much faster either we win or we don't you know and um you get to see more of a variety of decks in a shorter period of time uh horror vard horror vard horror vard all right so we got a four lander it's risky we do have the temple Seems kind of slow though, right? Let's mulligan this. Wow, that's not good either. Okay, so we'll keep this. Return two cards. We need the double green. Feels bad, but we'll have to just drop the collected, I guess. Is that the right play? Yeah. Because either they can deal with their our board or they can't. Forest. Anywhere else. Blue is nice. Get off the blue one or why not? Or I'm sorry, black. The swamp. Biogenic ooze. Disgusting. Same with rotting, I guess. Attacking now would be throwing it away, but the oozes are going to keep getting bigger. Luminarch is going to get keep that's tough man it's not looking good here Race is nice. Um,
have to take out this ooze for sure. Got ourselves a pack. Let's open that up for sure. Another Archon of Ameria. Nice. It's one of those cards where it seems cool. I'd like to build some decks around it, but don't have the wild cards for it. So, very glad I opened that up. Let's hop into another one here. Excuse me. Ni lo ni lo Angelo Nello Angelo zero zero. All right, so we got a three lander here. Um, yeah, we got the collected. We got a scry. Let's let's keep this. Brain Maggot, yeah, that could be something. That could be something. Reckless. Well, let's take a peek. Oof. Thought sees. Um. Blood Chiefs. This is a tough one. Okay, Google. Stop. We have to take the Blood Chief, right? Or else it would be just a complete waste. It's gonna Thought Seize us now. That's fine. Okay. Thought Seize. Assume the Collected Company goes. Especially, it seems to be more of a control build. But he's gonna have a tough-ass time. So I think we can drop this. We have our triple green. If he wastes a spell, or wastes one, okay. He's gonna start going off next turn. Let's collect it in response to him tapping. All right, so it's collected. Thought sees he's at three, four. Take 
mess you up. I will haunt your dreams. Let's give him the... Forest. Okay, pretty good about this. Let's discard the embrace because we can always get it back. Oh, I love the brain maggots, man. Fucking love the brain maggots. Let's play the Harbinger. Let's just go in with the Reggie. Alright, Conan is in a tough spot here. Conan is in a tough spot. Scrying. One at the bottom, that's nice. Okay, he's maze mining, but I'm gonna have to do some work here. Thought seize, lose two more life. So I'm gonna discard it anyways. Do I even get this back? No, let's wait on that. Let's... T temple. Kazandu, I guess that's something. We'll attack with both these. He has to block. That's interesting. Kazandu. Play the Kazandu. See if he has a board wipe. Extinction event would suck. Shock now, which sucks. <laughs> Welcome to my domain, Blades Walker. You will feel inspired. Chiefs hurts us. Between we're just dead, aren't we? Yeah, this game's over. Not really much we could do there. It was an exciting game, though. I don't even mind. We did. We would we go for like four and one. Let's hop into another one. Gotta gotta get another one in with this deck. Love it. Love it. Don't you wish with the uh, the daily rewards if you can get all fifteen wins in in like a Two, three day period that like they would re reset it for you. But, you know, they don't want to give you the maximum value, right? All right. So we have a three lander here. We do have 
three green for our steel leaf. Um, and we do have a, uh, brain maggot, so I think we'll keep this. Land where else is beautiful. Paradise Grid, okay, I have no earthly idea what we're playing against right now. Um, let's start going base, I think. Okay, Golgari, nice. Well, now I definitely want to take a peek. For sure. That's contempt. Nice. Must have a lot more removal in his hand. Let's see. Back for more. Wow. Take the back for more, right? Yeah, I guess we'll just keep, we'll just keep slamming stuff. This uh, Baroque is going to be real nice here. I feel like our Garuk is our ace in our hole, so I think we'll wait here. We'll we'll pass. Let's see what he draws. It is a game of luck at the end of the day. Ooh, another brain maggot. Can we do both? Discontent, which sucks. So Alright, that's fine. We'll take the other merchant. Yep. Still no attacks. Gonna have to risk it. Let's see what he gets. Okay. So let's play this. Demonic Embrace the Baruchs, since he seems to be running bl Black Removal. Let's go on with these two. Let's see if he wants to block. Another Gasper, sure. Let the, let the beating commence, which is going to give us the most tier. Here we go. Two Varaskas, three Varaskas out of his hand. Oh, I'm good, man. You can you can hit me for two. Okay. Slam the steel leaf, then we'll slam slam the rooks.
I think we want Ronis here. This will give us another way to punch through. Got him. <laughs> I love it. Righteousness. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Once again, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Feel free to drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. And if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them. Um, also, don't forget, once you have followed or subscribed on either my Twitch or YouTube channels, once you've done so, just reach out to me in the chat or the comment and say something like, hey, I just su subscribed or followed, and I can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. So very excited to be able to offer that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.